What is a ketone? Because there's so many people chasing ketones that don't even know what it is. So ketone is the brain's super fuel, okay? Why do I say it's a fuel? It's the same as every other form of fuel. In the human body, we know the fuels are carbohydrates, fats, protein to a certain extent. Of course, our body will always try to preserve protein till the last bit. So mostly we'll be using glucose or fats. Right. Ketone works the same way. So ketones are broken down from fat, getting converted from fat in the liver, enter the Krebs cycle the same way glucose and fatty acids would and provide ATP, which is the energy currency for the cell. Right. Then a lot of people ask, why do we have so many different forms of fuels? It's because- A of good the question. Yeah, it's a good question because different situations would require different form of fuel. So when we use glucose, it's when we need fast fuel because glycolysis, first part mm. of glucose metabolism, you you don't need oxygen to create that. So when you do intense exercise, when you go on anaerobic exercise, you will burn glucose first. For fats, account for 20 to 40,000 calories of storage in our body versus 2,000 calories worth of storage of glucose. So fats contain way more energy, but it's harder to burn. So when you go on endurance race, when you go on mm. cardio zone two, that's when you tap into your fat storage. Mm. Now, I know you talk a lot about this on, on, your, on your podcast. When you are on a carb restricted diet i.e like keto diet or mm -hmm. when you're fasting your body goes really low on carb storage and blood glucose mm. but your brain needs glucose to function primarily right but when you're low on glucose what happens then like your brain can't stop working right, right? so that's when your body says okay i'm going to convert fat into ketones why can't fat just go up to the brain and get metabolized for energy because fats can't bypass the blood brain barrier so it needs ah. to be converted into a smaller size molecule because fat has, you know, 18 to 20 um, carbons, sort of long chain molecule. So it can't get past because of the size of a molecule. So it needs to be converted to ketones. So it needs like a surrogate. Like a surrogate. But and I just a smaller, heard. smaller size molecule to get into your brain to be metabolized for energy. But then over the years, we have seen research that shown that when ketones are present, the brain would preferentially take up ketones mm. for energy. 